the final frontier. Or is it? These are the voyages of the USS Pizza Party. How's it going, everybody? I am Cadet Bucky Fellini, and I am about to engage a fun playtime with Star Trek Online. Oh, this is probably the nerdiest thing I've ever done, but I don't care because I love Star Trek. Let's start this game. Now, I already talked to two people already. So we're starting with the third person in that we need to talk to. Come on, this way. And I need to follow wherever she went. Here's Lifeson, one of the There you are. I wanted to thank you for helping me pass that final and for all the other times you've helped me. Seriously, I might wow. have made the cadet cruise. I think Lyson's got a crush on me. I hope Schaefer recognizes all you've done to lead our class. Have you got your assignment yet? Look at his body language, the eyebrow talk. He wants smooches. Hmm. Well, Lieutenant DeSilm has all of the assignments now. I'd see what she knows. Before you do that, do me a favor and talk to Ian. He's got good news and he won't settle down until he shares it with everyone, including you. Oh, there's Ian. Let's find out what his big news is. All right, let's go talk to Ian. Ian! Ian! Hey, it's Bucky Fellini! What's up, Ian? Cadets Quan and Peart, with a combined IQ of 231, which wow. I think is almost up to Tamov's rating. That's the rumor, anyway. Oh, hey, I've been looking for you. Yes! I took the linguistics final again, and I aced it! You and me both. It wouldn't have happened if I didn't follow okay. your advice. You saw that I thanks. I'm skipping Always some good of to these. have options, right? Kiro took your advice too. I think it worked out for him since he's slightly less scowly than usual. I think I see Kiro over there. Come oh on. Kiro. Kiro, hey, what's Come up? On. Oh, okay. Hold on. Coming. So I hope this just isn't a game of just speaking to cadets. Wow, she is really needy. Uh-huh. Hold on. Okay, she stopped waving me on. She annoyed? How long are you going to wait? All right, Sylvia. Ooh, unfortunate. And here we have the smartest person in your class, or so I've heard. It's not entirely fair. Kiro is a super genius, and he's built like a brick shit. Uh, uh, yep, yes. Cadet, it is agreeable to be in your presence. Your advice regarding Federation history was advantageous. It allowed me to pass the final test with satisfactory marks. I am pleased. In the interest of camaraderie, I think I, I helped everybody you cheat. That Captain Schaefer is still selecting the senior staff for the upcoming training crews. There is a 78.4% chance that you will be selected for a position, based on my current statistical models. Lieutenant Tassil may have more conclusive data on the matter. All right, let's talk to Tassil. Tassil. I'm just gonna call him T Pain. Let's go talk to T Pain. I'll wait out here. Tassilm should be inside. Tassilm. Tassilm. Right inside, right there. Oh, hey, Lieutenant. Good afternoon, Cadet. How may I be of assistance? It is. I will access your assignment data now. One moment. Hmm. Fascinating. Thanks. You too. Your assignment is not listed. Inquiries on the matter have been directed to Captain Schaefer himself. Captain Schaefer himself? That remains to be seen. I suggest you report to Captain Schaefer and ask him personally. He is in the office behind me. Okay. Let's go talk to Captain Schaefer. Let me ring the ring my bell. Ring my bell. Well, look at this worthy mf -er right here. How's it going, Captain? Can I sit? Can I sit down? How do I jump? 
Ooh. What's up, man? Good to see you, Cadet. Today's the big day. Congratulations. Judging by that look on your face, I trust this visit concerns your assignment on the training cruise. To Roy! Uh, well, you can relax. I'm happy to report that you work with a new bilge officer. <laughs> Far from it. There is a matter I'd like to address, however. Your academic record is impressive, but I don't see your results for the advanced phaser training program. Care to shed some light on that for me? The Federation is at war with the Klingon Empire, Cadet. Shouldn't need to remind you that Klingons enjoy close combat with their enemies. That in mind, I want everyone on my senior staff to complete that program. No, I did indeed. There's a place for a cadet like you on my bridge, once you finish that phase, of course. My chief engineer and tactical officer have programmed a training simulator for you. I look forward to seeing your results. Cadets Tilly and Surveyor, respectively. They've been working on the simulation for me for some time now. Interesting pair, those two. Some of the staff question bringing Tilly along on the cruise as a junior, but her professors assure me that she's up to the task. Indeed, she'll meet you out in the quad. Talk to her to start the training, and I'll see you when you're finished. That's all for now, Cadet. Dismissed. Aye, aye, Captain. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, buddy. What's up? Oh, that's how. All right. Can you go prone? No, you can't go prone. All right. See you later, Captain. I'm done standing on your desk. Does this thing talk? Weird plant. Okay, so I'm supposed to locate Sylvia. Why do I have to locate her? I knew she was outside. She was waiting for me. Hey, I found you. I still can't believe I got the chief engineer spot. Yes, it's just for the cadet training cruise, but still, how many juniors get to go on the cruise, let alone I don't as know. a department head? I just this started playing. <laughs> okay. Whew. Deep breath. I'm good. <laughs> Enough about me. Uh, where did you end up? Uh, I guess I'm supposed to say this, huh? They don't give me any options. Yeah? I was wondering why you wanted us to set up the program for you. Now I know. Hey, I should warn you, it can get pretty lively. With the Klingon. Oh, no, don't worry. You'll do fine. There's no doubt in my mind. Come on, I'll take you there. Sevea's waiting over at the simulator. You know how crazy she gets. Lead the way. Finnegan actually graduated. I guess the Irish are lucky after all. Luck? The Irish. I remember a Vulcan friend saying... Luck is not no one logical. No assigned to a constitution class. Not even you. That's crazy. How many times did you run the Kobayashi Maru? Kirk's up to two now. To sprint, press and hold the left we stick hurry while moving. Lose our spot. Oh, I hate running. Oh, I love to see you uh -oh. run, though. There's Ev, and she's looking impatient. There you are. About time. Program's loaded and ready to go. I hope this is your lucky simulator. It's been nothing but bad luck for Kirk. <laughs> Point the business end of the phaser at the enemy, not yourself. Sorry, Captain Schaefer told us both not to give you any help, no matter how nicely you ask. You got through quantum mechanics, you can get through this. It's pretty cutting edge. Tilly and I have been using actual combat data from the field to make it as realistic as possible. You'll have to find the rest of- Ha! <laughs> you wish! I'm still mad at you for getting us all blown up in the Kobayashi Maru test. Ramming speed? Really? Don't you worry, this test is gonna do its job. Yeah, those are pretty useful in phaser training, huh? Too bad tricorders don't have a stun setting. You'd get top marks. Kidding! I'm kidding. The phasers are in the armory by the holodecks. Grab one there. Let's go. Running is the worst. Press left to scan the area. Your tricorder will point you toward your nearest objective. Oh, do I have to go through this line? Oh, she's trying to cut.
Okay, so that's not the armory. I'm supposed to. Okay, I guess just follow her. I like how it points. It just points you through the corridor. All right, so let's get a phaser. Why do I have to have a pistol? The pistol has been automatically equipped. Can I get an assault phaser? That looks bad, eh, ma'am? Alright, look at the way. Alright, this is silly, but Cadet Sylvia's got a badonk. Just go to the center of the room. Choose your pain. While in combat, certain actions are disabled. Once you drop out of combat, more detail about ground combat will become available. Nice work, Cadet. A few points below Sever's personal best, but it was your first try. You'll have plenty of opportunities to knock her from her perch at the top of the list once we're underway. That I do, Cadet. First officer's station is yours. That's if you want it, of course. Thought you might say that. You've done well here, Cadet. I expect that trend to continue. Onward and upward, direct likewise. I'll see you on the bridge then. Wow, right. look at you, first officer. You're gonna do a great job. Congratulations. That thing the captain said about the bilge officer spot was pretty <laughs> funny, though. I mean, we don't even have those anymore. Wait, do we? Anyway, first officer. How does it feel? Seems like a lot of pressure. Seriously? Captain Schaefer didn't make that decision lightly. He oh my god. Me, just like me. Even though you got me blown up in the Kobayashi Maru. Awkward. <laughs> well, we should get going to the shuttle bay. Everybody's waiting for the ceremonial send-off toast. Guess who gets to give that? Head for the turbo lift. Now hear this. All cadets report to shuttle bay That's to what Kyles do. They turbo lift and smash up monster energy drink and punch a hole through drywall. Okay, the rest of the senior staff is waiting just ahead. Time for your big speech. How are you gonna play it? Inspirational? Heartwarming? That could be good. Hey, make Savea cry, like, just a single tear. Warrior style. Anyway, I'll meet you at the bar. No pressure, you're gonna be great. Now, how am I going to play this? In life, I am usually a very humble person. So do I play it true to life, or do I play it inspirational? Or should I just be humble? Let's, let's inspire. I'll do a mixture. 
All right, to Starfleet Academy, to the USS Pizza Party, to her crew. All cadets, please board your shuttles. Okay. So we're gonna board our shuttles. Whoa, these shuttles look whoa. What did she do? <laughs> Do that? What did she do? That was insane. I want to see what these ships look like before I talk to him and we get on them. Okay, so she just jumped around the coast wall. She is a witch. A witch! Oh, what is that over there? What? So you can earn it. What? Yeah, I can just chill here on a seat. That's awesome. Are you ready to head to the ship? Nope. <laughs> Wonder if there's any side missions or if it's just streamlined to get you into the gameplay and then you can go do the side missions. Let's just do the gameplay. Are you ready to head to the ship? Let's go. Very borderlands you with the little postcard ads. Oh, we're in San Francisco. Not anymore. We'll I can't make... believe we're finally doing this. <laughs> what are we doing? Ooh, 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 look over there. That's the Glen. One of the new Crossfield class ships. No one really knows much about her or her capabilities. Well, at Starfleet Academy anyway. Maybe we'll work on a ship like that someday. For now, our ship's here. She's a Malakowski class. Captain Chief is pride and joy. Good speed for her class, definitely maneuverable. A stout, solid, battle-proof in design, for sure. I can't wait to see what she can do. Let's land and find out. All right, here's my ship. Well, I guess not my ship yet. We get our own ship eventually. maneuvers okay so I guess I just talked to you still okay, we need to check in with the deck officer first then head to our stations oh man I cannot wait to see the engine room my engine room yeah yeah okay so I need to go talk to some mofo over here Sylvia Tilly acting chief engineer reporting for duty Welcome aboard. What's your name, cadet? <laughs> I forgot I made my name Buckerson Elwood Fellini. Ah, uh, yes, here we are. Fellini. Acting first officer. You're all set. Report to Captain Schaefer on the bridge. He's been expecting you. Use the turbo lift behind me. It'll take you directly there. All right. I love everybody's eyebrow game in this game. Everybody's eyebrow game in this game. You getting in? All right, later, Sylvia. Love in an elevator. Oh, whoa. Where is his, like, second in command chair? Ah, there you are. Computer. I need a place Note for number one. The executive one. officer has reported for duty in the ship's log. Welcome aboard, XO. You're right on time. All decks have reported in. We're ready to get underway. Let's start things simple by getting the old girl out of dry dock, huh? Contact dock control and get clearance to depart. After we're cleared, close the shuttle bay doors and disable the tractor moorings. Dock control has cleared us to depart. 
Acknowledged. Carry on. Shuttle bay doors are closed. Acknowledged. Carry on. Erez, take us out. One quarter impulse. Duly noted, XO. Erez, take us out. Maximum thrusters. Okay. So we're going to go maximum thrusters. Cleared from dry dock, Captain. Acknowledged, Helm. Set a course for Vulcan. Warp 4. Course laid in, sir. Engage. <laughs> Incoming transmission. Captain, I'm picking up a distress call from the SS Fortuna. Audio only. Put them through, comms. This is the Fortuna! Can you hear me? Yeah, so, dude. Uh, warp core is failing! We could really use some help here! Let them know we're on our way. Helm, lay in a rendezvous course. Altering course, sir. ETA three minutes. Transporter room, prepare to beam over survivors. Sir, sensors can't read anything in the vicinity of the Fortuna. Communications are out as well. Maybe... They should go to school to Keep learn to how to read. Them, XO, let's discuss the situation. Okay. Well, XO, you heard the distress call. What are your recommendations? Afraid not. This is the real deal. First Starfleet regs, we're the closest ship to the Fortuna, so it's our duty to assist. Not usually, no. Good instincts. How would you proceed here? Good call. There's something about this that's not sitting right with me. Agreed. Yellow alert. Surveyor, bring the shields up. Get down to the transporter room, XO. I want you to oversee the rescue efforts from there. Let's take the turbo lift. How many doors are there? Go to transporter deck. I'd rather go to the transporter to deck. Desmond, the Fortuna should be in range. Give me an update. I'm getting some weird readings. I can't get a solid block. There may be interference. Trying to compensate. I think I have it. This is a lot different than the training scenario. Cleaning them over now. Klingons! Uh oh. Hey, John! Hey, John! <laughs> oh, really? Desmond? Come in! What happened? Desmond? Let's kill us some Hold Klingons. Hold on, we're reading disruptive fire in the transporter room. And Klingons are beaming in on multiple decks. You have the command codes to unlock an armory near your position. Arm yourself and any security team members you find, and then repel any borders you come across. You let us worry about that. Right now. Over here, Exo. We need you to unlock the armory. You have to enter the command codes. All right. All right. We need to deal with the Klingons. Fuck yeah, rifle time! You need to equip your phaser rifle. To do so, press the options button and select the captain option under the ship and crew heading.
guess I did it. Okay, so they're dead. So, okay. Hey, I'm reading a whole brief in the transporter room. An item is dropped for you. You're oh, the good. Item, and it will be automatic. You're on the right side of the chamber in inventory. Whew. You have recovered a hypo spray. You can use this to quickly heal any damage you may have suffered. Okay. They were going to engineering, but a hurry. There's a lot of them. Security to engineering. We are under attack. Klingon boarding parties on multiple decks, XO. Our security teams are spread thin. I need you to get to engineering and keep it secure. It's bound to be a priority target for the enemy. All right, let's do this. Get some Klingons. Greetings. Lead the way, XO. We've got your back. Press the right stick to crouch. Crouching gives a defensive bonus against ranged attacks, but increases damage from melee attacks. You have no idea how happy I am to see you. <laughs> they were looking for something in here. Can't imagine what, though. I mean, they have warp and impulse tech. What else would be in engineering? Especially since the ship's a complete mess, thanks to them. Is there a part they didn't shoot? Sorry, I, I could really use your help, since you're here. As I was I saying, the ship's taken a lot of damage. 
I'll do what I can to get the essentials online, but I could use some help. See anything? Okay. The power relays for our weapons were overloaded. I need you to bring them back online. Sometimes missions specialized to your career class are available. Okay, oh, I gotta do all this stuff now. Oh, okay, I just wanna fly my ship. Safety fields engaged. Ship wide comms online. Glad you're still with We can use a hand up here. We take. Head back to the bridge. We'll cover this deck. Through the bridge. Sir, we flash shields. Prepare for. Who is in command here? Speak now. I'm Captain Schaefer, and you are. I am Jaula of House Muka. Surrender now, Captain. Why are you still able? Request denied. Get off my ship. Ooh. Get off my ship. Stay down, Captain. If you insist, Captain. John Drew. Oh, so he just... on ship. That was intense. Klingons. We just fought Klingons. Okay. Thanks to you. I owe you one. Your medical assistance was adequate and necessary. I thank you. Here. Incoming transmission from the Klingons. Do I have your attention, Starfleet? Captain, are you all right? Silence! Surrender your ship and all classified data within it to me immediately. Order your crew to do as I say. 
so? Follow my orders to the letter. Fire on my position. Spoken like a Klingon, Captain. Now fly like one. What do we do now? What do we do? Snap to it, Bucky. What am I saying? Target the location and fire. Do I have to say it for my character? Alright, let's take down these fucking wrinkly bastards. Alright. Space battle! Maybe not. Where is she? What up, Evelyn? We're still here. Most of us, anyway. The captain. Look, the captain knew what was at stake. He gave the order, and you followed it. If you hadn't, we'd probably all be dead now. So... To sit, press the X button while targeting the chair you wish to sit in. Okay. Bridge officers add abilities to your ship in space and accompany you on away missions on the ground. All decks have reported in. We took some casualties and sick bay is full. I'll Working on it, but something's jamming our lung. Still running under cloak. Damage control teams are assigned. We've put out all the fires and started patching the hull breaches, but it's gonna take a while. Still reading their distress signal. I can break through the jamming at short range. Shall I hail? Opening hailing frequencies now, Captain. Greetings, uh, Captain. Uh, thank you for coming to my aid. I must apologize. I sent the distress signal under Teres. I'm sure you'll do the same with a Klingon disruptor. Quite so, Captain. Our Klingon friends took pains to make my plight look convincing, to the point of damaging my warp drive beyond function, at the risk of wearing out my welcome. Press up to increase your ship speed. Press down to decrease your ship speed. Use the left stick to pitch downward or upward, as well as to turn left or right. Coming to a full stop, Captain. A apologies. Yes. I'll wait for your command from now on. They need three or four warp induction coils, Tops. We can spare a few. Position yourself near the ships and press X to interact with them. Thanks. Oh, and uh, good luck with the Klingons, my young friend. You'll need it. Can't say I blame them. I wouldn't want to fight Klingons in a tub like that either. We have a problem. Most of our plasma injectors are a wreck. See, plasma injectors are made to take a beating. We're not the first ship the Klingons have hit here, Captain. There's wreckage throughout the system. I'm picking up a few compatible parts in the wreckage. Blast off the outer casings on those units and we can get what we need. Okay, so I gotta... 
Press the R2 button to fire energy weapons. Little Starfleet, call we poop, digging through scraps. Ugh, she is getting on my last nerve. Okay, these injectors are a little beat up, but I can work with them. Some of these are real top shelf. Gonna need a little time to get these in Right. I'm on it, Captain. While engineering deals with the warp core, we're stuck here. We need... We're on it, Captain. I located several Klingon military satellites. You must be within 10 kilometers of an enemy to attack it. Use your phaser banks to weaken shield and targets. your torpedoes on an enemy when their shield is down. Range comms are back, Captain. Shall I send the distress signal? That Klingon ship took some real damage during the fight. I bet she's leaking plasma all over the place. We might be able to use that to find them. No argument here. I'd rather not get blown up by Klingons on a cadet cruise. Or, you know, sending you the data now. We can trace... It's pretty far from us. We should travel at full impulse to reach it. This will temporarily take power from the other systems, but vastly improve our speed. Once okay. we drop out of full impulse, the power will return to other systems. Let's do it. Your death will be swift. Hold the up button to activate and deactivate full impulse. we have the opportunity, it might not be a bad idea to review some of the basic starship combat files. Wouldn't hurt to be ready when the next group of
would be wise not to follow me. Cowardly, but wise. Click on a shield that is low on power to direct power to it. This will divert power from your other shields. Tamav and I need time to get the plasma injectors installed. Please don't break anything else. This is Captain Thykir Shran. We've received your signal. What happened here? I see. Ever since they acquired their cloaking device, they've been getting bold, even for Klingons. And did you follow his orders? I see. Unfortunate. I served with Anton on the Endeavor. He was a fuck. Very well. Schaefer didn't place trust in his officers lightly. If he chose you to be his XO, he knew you could get the job done. I'll expect the same. Our first order of business is getting your ship and crew to safety. I'm sure they are. And if they're foolish enough to come back looking for a fight, they'll get one. In the meantime, set a course for our position. Zabrova, out. All right, we got some allies up in this bitch. Oh no. So, the wolf now fights with his cub. No back at Check in on another Starfleet vessel when we received your distress signal. That vessel is still not responding to hails. Considering what happened to you, I'm beginning to fear the worst. I'm going to investigate, and I want you to join me. If the Klingons are up to no good in that system, I'll need backup. I know it's asking a lot, but we're at war. Consider this a field promotion, Cadet. You have your orders. This... this feels wrong, doesn't it? I mean, the captain just got killed by a house... <sighs> You're right. You're right. For all we know, this Ja'ula could be behind what happened to that other ship. We should help them. I'll get back down to engineering, Captain. We are ready to go to warp when you are. Woo! Okay, that was our first battle with Klingons. The controls are okay. I would like it to feel more like space and nimble, but We've I guess arrived, it is Captain. a big ship. I'm reading the Ticonderoga dead ahead. Our orders are to make contact with them and find out why they haven't responded to our hails. Oh. 
on it. Compensating for local interference now. Hailing frequencies open, Captain. All right, Ticonderoga, this is Pizza Party. Please respond. Can't say I was expecting either of you out here. Care to fill me in? That's the start of an answer. Captain Schron, perhaps you'd care to fill in the details? The cadets were ambushed by Klingons. Captain Schaefer was killed in the attack, and the ship is under the command of this cadet. The Subrova was escorting them back to Seoul. When we couldn't contact you, I decided to alter course and investigate. Now then, what's the situation here, Captain Durant? Starfleet has received reports of Klingon activity in the region. We've been ordered to check things out here. They might be hiding in the cluster, and using this as a staging ground. As you can see, the area plays ha- We've already launched nine probes. Now that they're active, we can do an in-depth scan of the area. We could use your help. If all three ships collect data, we should be able to complete this quickly, and deal with any Klingons we might come across. Any questions? Hmm. I can see why Schaefer picked you to be his XO. Don't let that confidence get the better of you. If you need help, ask for it. Starfleet needs each and every one of you. This may be the worst simple trip to Vulcan ever. Bet you wish you were back at the Academy, huh, Tilly? You can set your ship's power levels to have a focus on attack, defense, speed, or balance. Captain's log, star date. July 23rd of the year 2019. Picking up large pockets of radiation, but there's something off in the readings. All right, something is off on the readings. levels that we are? I'm not sure that a normal scan will be enough. We might need to do a full multiphasic reading. My science officer believes that performing a tachyon pulse wave scan will solve our sensor issue. Perform your final scans and then report back. The deflector is realigned to emit a reverse tachyon pulse wave, Captain. Again? 
Ticonderoga is under attack. Use full impulse to reach her quickly. Hold the up button to activate and deactivate full impulse. Nikes. There's too many of them. So what do we do? More of them inbound, Captain. Like our odds here. They're leaving. Most likely for a more valuable target. Concentrate fire on the remaining vessel. Let's go now. All ships. Nice shot, you dead. I think I know what the Klingons are up to here. They're using this system as a staging area. Something big is about to go down. We're picking up a large number of inbound warp signatures. Their most likely target is the Corvan system. There's a... Agreed. Sobrova is better equipped to hold off the Klingons and assist the Ticonderoga here. Once you've warned Corvan, return to the Soul System. We have to make our way to Corvan as soon as we can, Captain. I just hope we're not too late to warn them. Are you... Let's do this. Let's go warn them. Oh, I haven't really talked because I've been alert. watching a lot All of this game. Battle station. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Maybe I should have stayed to help. Corvan colony about the Klingons. We'll do what we can to hold off the Klingons here and repair the Ticonderoga. Good luck. You are now in sector space. Here ships travel at warp speed between systems. Combat does not
not take place in sector space. We're giving her all she's got, Captain. I hope we get there in time. Looks like we got here before the Klingons, Captain. We should make the most of this advantage. What if- I've managed to establish comms with the colony. It's not a great signal, but it's the best we're gonna get. Hello, Captain. What can I do for you? Run that by me again. Your signal's breaking up. Did you say Klingons? We just lost contact with Borvan 2, Captain. Something's blocking all subspace signals in this area. Uh-oh. There's a- the Probably Klingons. We should be able to access it. Hails are still blocked. The Klingons may be attempting to isolate the planet before they land. Not from orbit, Captain. The Klingons are disrupting transporter operations at the local level. Klingon forces inbound on an attack vector, Captain! Those civilians won't last long against Klingons. We need to help them.
Captain, I have short range comms again. Long range signals are still blocked. Captain, the civilians are trying to fight the Klingon landing craft. I think I can break through the Klingon jamming and hail the civilians. Civilian vessels, disengage immediately. I repeat, disengage. Roger that, Starfleet. All ships, fall back. Target shields have failed. All civilian ships have safely warped out of the system, Captain. Miners won't be able to hold off the Klingons for long. I'm reading more enemy ships on long-range sensors as well. It won't be long before the colony is overrun. I recommend we beam down to help the miners while we can. All right, we did it. Well, we got to get down there to help the miners, but we're going to sign off for now. So... We did it. Now we're going to go down there. Let's go down there. That'll be fun. Captain, the miners won't be able to hold off the Klingons for long. I'm reading more. Beaming down. Guess I'm ready. That's all I'm taking with me is her. All right. Well, this isn't good. According to our readings, over half the colony has been overrun by the Klingons. At the rate, right. Lead the way, Captain. All right. Let's get some. Let's kick some Klingon butt. Leave the gate closed. We have to get out of here. And leave the others to die. Starfleet's here. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, I guess I gotta talk to her. All right. Thanks. We didn't think anyone got our distress signal. Glad that's not true. We were about to surrender. We didn't have any weapons. We do have some spare armor suits for you and your off. This code will open the gate. Here are the codes to the gate. You have to save the chief and the others. All right. this Pick some Klingon but hey be careful there's a lot of Klingons down there
dum 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 Wish there was a zoom in feature. Shoot him in the dick. Shoot him in the dick. Thank you. Are you? Are you though? So one of you get smashed to bits. It's just us up here, Captain. No sign of some Robo or Ticonderoga. Okay, where are the people I need to rescue, I guess? I guess I'm supposed to save these people before they stab them. Oh well. The aiming system sucks sometimes. I'm sure you can guess we're uh, all a little on edge. If it wasn't for Fletcher visiting the <coughs> might have eaten a disrupt the place by now. The pizza party oh, is in orbit, alright, that good. guy's long winded. We're in big trouble. These Klingons <coughs> mean way to hear it. We're definitely gonna need that help. There's some gear in those crates. Use it. Alright, gear in the crates. What damn crates? Okay, so do I... Bucky Fellini, let's see, body, yes.
Okay. All right, we're in business. Almost. I'm gonna need someone to be my hands down there. Okay, someone to be your hands. Hey, nice work. Perfect timing, too. I can hear the cl Let me your communicator. If your engineer can walk me through it, I'll... Right. Here they come. Let them have it! Okay. I need you to pull the action invert it, and jam it back in. Trust me. Okay. It's in there. I think I got it. Got him. Okay, got it. He did it just by doing the Fonzie. Good job, Chief. The looks stable. Geo, go for the system shields. is still clear, Captain, but those Klingon ships are getting closer. The faster you can finish up down there, the better. Least I could do. Thank you for putting your lives on the line here. We won't forget it. You got it. There's no way I'm sitting around and letting the Klingons take this place without a fight. Klingons worry about me, not the other way around. Let's go. Let's go. Ooh, and back to it. Just had a phone call from somebody on my day off at my job. Only good Klingon is a dead Klingon. Get so. abilities I have no dang automatic fire oh, it's locked I suppose we'll just have to knock <laughs> yep 
Yeah, time to blow some stuff up. What? The bombing has stopped. Something's wrong. Secure the dilithium and prepare it for immediate transport. No! Not so fast, Klingon. You're done here. That's right. Klingon biatches. Come on, batch. Okay, so this is just like an RPG. It's just about. Medic! What? Okay. Captain, we're picking that could be a problem. It might hold on. Okay, well I'm seeing three possible outcomes to this rig overloading. Outcome three. You managed to trigger an emergency shutdown before the rig goes nuclear. Okay, I found the emergency shutdown mechanism and good news, it's really easy to operate. I don't know, I guess it was built that way so a single disgruntled miner couldn't shut down the whole operation. Miners get disgruntled. Alright, so what do we do? We're going nuclear! We're all gonna die, we're all gonna die, we're all gonna die, we're all gonna, oh my god, we're all gonna die. Oh my god, oh my god, we're all gonna die. Oh my god, we're dying. Oh, I need to go right here, I guess, huh? Ooh, wow, that was really close. Good job, Captain. The security field is still standing, the mine secure, and you didn't blow up. Let's beam up. All right, time to space battle some Klingons. Captain, the colony's security field is holding strong. But there's a problem. Civilian ships travel through here frequently. We yeah. need to warn them about the Klingons. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. We could even remotely program the signal on a satellite. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that on a satellite. All right, there's the satellite. Let's fly to that SOB. Will. I almost crashed into it. We definitely got their attention, Captain. Here they come. Oh, yeah, we did. Only good Klingon is a dead Klingon. Except for Worf, he's okay. Let him live. Where the F is he? There he is. 
take him down. Alright, let me broadside him here. There's tons of them. Sorry, we're late. Yeah. Oh, with love a hand. Did it. Did it. We stood our ground at the Arucanus arm until the situation became untenable. After we disengaged, we were able to reach Starfleet and call for backup. Others will be arriving as soon as they can. We can't afford to lose this system to the Klingons. Don't mention it. You'd do the same were our situations reversed. I believe Captain Schaefer would be proud of you. Apart from your valor in combat, I'm particularly impressed by your work with the local satellites. Turning them into distant warning beacons was quite clever. Those signals will save a lot of lives. Indeed. I'm sure Starfleet Command has detailed plans for defending Corvan. For now, however, your work here... Fletcher would make a fine addition to your senior staff. I'll make a note of it in my report to Starfleet Command. You've done... We've done all we can, Captain. Let's get to safety while we still can. Warp speed, engage. Out. 
After everything we went through out there, going back to Professor Shermer's advanced physics class doesn't seem as scary now. Rice-a-roni, the San Francisco treat, ding ding. That's not what San Francisco looks like. Well, I guess somehow they figure out the future and climate change because it looks lovely out. And seriously, Tilly's got a badonk, y'all. Well, this is Captain Bucky Fellini. And that was a fun adventure. I saw maybe one person watch for a little bit and another person watch for a little bit. So I guess that's kind of cool. Oh, they do not work at the Starfleet Academy. Well, thanks everybody for joining my Star Trek space adventure. All two of my people that saw my broadcast. I guess I was more engrossed in the game than talking, so. But that was super fun. This is Captain Bucky Fellini of the USS Pizza Party. Signing off.